Good evening, and thank you for joining us tonight for our Village of Alsip board meeting. Today is January 8th, 2024. First meeting of the first board meeting, I should say, of the new year. Um, we'll call this meeting in order at 7.30 p.m. Can you call the roll, please? Trustee Dalzell? Here. Trustee Juarez Mendoza is absent. Trustee McLaughlin? Here. Trustee Murphy? Here. Trustee Navas Barza? Here. Trustee Prada? Here. Mayor Ryan? Here. We have a quorum. Thank you. Please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. Just a, a quick note before we start with our reports. I um, asked um, I asked the office to put this out. I, we had this notice late this afternoon, but that uh, ComEd, this went out on our social media and uh, Village website. <coughs> ComEd is preparing for the first significant snowstorm tonight. In anticipation of severe weather, coming ComEd forecast six to eight inches of wet, heavy snow uh, in some areas starting tonight, Monday. Uh, the kind of snow the kind of snow forecasted this week can be especially problematic because it can cause branches and entire trees to topple onto our power lines, and crews will be working around the clock to restore customers that experience outages uh, quickly and safely. Uh, please know that public safety is paramount, and ComEd encourages customers to take the following precautions. If a down power line is spotted, you know, there's a number to call. 800-334-7661. Spanish-speaking customers can call 1-800-955-8237. Uh, please never approach a down power line. Always assume the power line is extremely dangerous and energized. In the event of an outage, please do not approach. Combat crews working to restore the power uh, to ask about restoration times. Crews may be working on a live electrical equipment and the parameter of the work zone may be hazardous. So please be safe and contact ComEd if you uh, need their assistance. First on the agendas this evening, under my report, was the approval of an ordinance amending Chapter 4, Alcoholic Beverages and Liquor Control, Article 2, Administration and Enforcement, Division 2 License, Section 4-69, Limitation on Total Number of Licenses of the Municipal Code of the Village of Alsip, Really what that means in short is that um, we were approving uh, the increasing the Class C licenses uh, not to exceed five, and that Class C license would be earmarked for Burrito Jalisco, uh, for retail sales of liquor, no consumption on the premises for the new retail aspect of their um, property is concerned. And the Class FG license to be issued under this article should not ex exceed 11. That's for the quick run convenience store that's uh, being built, corner of 115th and Cicero. Retail sales, again, FG sa license means that retail sales and consumption is allowed at a gas station. And um, that's all I had for this evening. We'll go to our clerk's report, Clerk Harding. Oh, I'm sorry, any questions on that too? I might have had somebody absent last week. No? Thank you. Oh, clerk's report, Clerk Harding. Thank you, Mayor. I have the approval of the December 18th, 2023 board meeting minutes, approval of the December 27th, 2023 committee meeting minutes, approval of the November 2023 IDOT motor fuel tax allotment in the amount of $79,056.17 and the approval of the December 2023 IDOT motor fuel tax allotment in the amount of $74,402.24. And that is all I had, Mayor. Okay. Thank you. Give me one second, I'll just make a note. <coughs> Thank you. Um, next we'll go to our attorney's report. We have Mike Kankar with us. Mike? No report, sir. Okay. Thank you. Good engineer's report, Jeff Agin. Thank you, Mayor. Um, we are working with uh, IDOT, the DCEO, and also Cook County Highway Department. Um, 
over the past year, there's been $1.85 million in grants that the village has uh, been awarded for various resurfacing projects. And so we're working on the reimbursements for, for all of those right now. I know there's a little bit, um, some resolutions and agreements later on in the meeting as well that will be discussed. So um, we're working on getting all that money reimbursed to the village um, so we can move forward with this, uh, next year's projects. Um, just a reminder, uh, last meeting I had mentioned about uh, postcards that are being sent out uh, regarding surveys for the lead water service line inventories. That was a $50,000 grant that the village also had received to investigate uh, lead water service lines within the village. So um, postcards are being sent out to approximately 3,000 um, homes within the village with instructions to access <coughs> an online survey, which will help uh, determine the type of water service pipe material that runs into these 3,000 homes from the street. All that's involved is just taking a key and scratching the pipe, taking a picture, um, a couple pictures of the, of the pipe, and then uploading the pictures to the online survey website. So the postcards will have a email address and then also a QR code um, that can be used to access um, and upload the, the pictures. So we're just asking that um, if, if a resident received the postcard, that they complete the survey uh, within the next couple weeks, and um, that will help us be able to identify. So far, the preliminary in investigation that we've done, um, just analyzing records that the village has, so far we haven't found any lead water service lines. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, public forum, did anyone in the audience wish to address the board tonight? None? All right, then we'll go to our special committee reports, starting with finance and IT. Trustee McLaurin. Thank you, Mayor. First, I have a request for approval of a list of payroll dated December 29, 2023, totaling $446,901.03. Next, I have a request for approval of a list of accounts payable dated January 8, 2024. From the recap, general fund $161,571.39. Road and Bridge, $43,245.51. MFT, $226,868.87. Pulaski TIF, $207 even. Liability and Workers' Comp Insurance, $314,880. Health Insurance, $8,956.88. Water and Sewer, $756,148.49. Sanitary sewers, $217.20. You don't want to pay more than we need to. And finally, heritage complexes, $166,442.10. For a grand total, all funds of $1,678,537.44. And that is all I have under finances. See you, Mayor. Very good. Thank you. Uh, we'll go to our fire committee report. Uh, Trustee Murphy? No report tonight, Mayor. Okay. Thank you. Uh, then we'll go to our police and traffic safety report. Trustee Dalzal? Uh, nothing for this evening's meeting. Uh, the Chief's got something? Uh, no. Chief? Okay. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, next, we have the Public Work and Boat Launch Committee. I have a request of approval of a resolution for improvement under the Illinois Highway Code for Section Number 22-00101-00-R, like Robert, S, like Sam. The Lindhall resurfacing contract related to the balance of construction costs over the $766,761.59 rebuild Illinois funding amount. Next, I have the request of approval of the joint funding agreement for construction work for section number 22-00101-00-R, like Robert, S, like Sam, the Lindhall resurfacing contract associated with the $766,761.59 rebuild Illinois funds received from the state. And finally, I have a request of approval of the joint funding agreement for construction work for section number 23-00104-00-R like Robert, S like Sam, 
the deconstruction resurfacing contract associated with the $233,238.41 rebuild Illinois funds received from the state. And that's all I have, sir. Thank you. So in short, uh, Jeff, I'm explaining this correctly as well, is those two amounts, the 766000 plus the 233000 is was the $1 million that we were awarded for Rebuild Illinois. We were to pay that money up front, and we were being reimbursed for that money from the, uh, the Illinois Department of Transportation. Yes, that's correct. Okay, thank you. And we appreciate the uh, state of Illinois recognizing us for the capital needs that we didn't quite get in the capital bill I submitted, but thank you for helping out with a million dollars worth of streets in our town and stuff yet then, too. So thank you. Uh, next, we have the sewer and water report. Trustee Navas Barza. Thank you, Mayor. No report. Okay. Thank you. Uh, then we'll go to our building and health report. Trustee Prada. Thank you, Mayor. First, I have a request for approval of the building department December 2023 monthly activity report. In the month of December, there were 57 permits issued. Uh, the amount collected for inspector that included inspector fees was $17,879.50. And the estimated cost of construction was valued at $1,046,099. And one thing I'd like to point out, um, previous year, year to date totals for um, permits being issued was 793 um, fees collected in the year from, August, from May 1 through December 31. Uh, the fees collected was $201,129. Uh, year to date this year, Actually, in 2023, from May 1st through December 31st, there were a slight increase of permits being issued at 844. Uh, the fees collected year-to-date was $344,139.50. Next, uh, I have a request for approval of the Health Department December 2023 Monthly Activity Report. Uh, in their report, there were 11 complaints and four citations. And that concludes my report, Mayor. Okay, thank you. Next, we have the Human Resource and Insurance Report, Trustee Murphy. No report tonight, Mayor. Okay. Special Committee Reports, starting with Economic Development, Trustee Nava Esparza. No report, Mayor. Okay. Thank you. Village Properties, Trustee McLaurin. No report this evening, Mayor. Trustee uh, and uh, Chief, I was working with Chief Miller. I got your, your email today, Chief. We're talking about the cameras for heritage apartments, so we'll talk more this week about it and stuff yet, too. I like what you were saying. I, I was just kind of giving a ballpark what we're looking for. We can do a more depth analysis, something I can share with the committee and stuff yet, too. Okay. Um, next, ordinance of legislation, Trustee Prada. Thank you, Mayor. I have a request for approval to renumber an ordinance of the Village of Elsa, Cook County, Illinois, regarding the Illinois Paid Leave for All Workers Act from 2023-12-1 to 2023-12-2. Second, I have a request for approval of an ordinance amending Chapter 19, Traffic and Motor Vehicles, Article 2, operation of vehicles generally by adding section 19-34 unscheduled bus stops to the municipal code of the village of Elsa. And that's all I have, Mayor. All right, thank you. Um, again, uh, when we give an overview, I'm sorry, we give a title of something like this, the uh, public when they watch these on our videos may not totally understand um, what the um, ordinances and uh, in brief, I like to say that it, there was a, this ordinance, what it says is um, there's a lot of definitions to understand what an unscheduled bus stop is. And uh, really what it me means though is that it means an unscheduled bus stop, regularly scheduled service means a bus service that operates trips involving the loading and unloading of passengers 
in the village of Alsop on a predictable and reoccurring basis following a schedule that is published in advance and available to the public, general public and provides service in exchange for paying a fare. An unscheduled bus stop means a location in the village of Alsop where individuals are dropped off by bus that originated from a location outside of Cook County, Illinois that is not providing regularly scheduled service and not operating pursuant to an approved application and plan from the chief of police. So again, you know, what we're asking is that an application um, from the owner, uh, operator, or driver of any bus that is not providing regularly scheduled service that is desirous of making a stop to unload passengers in the village of Alsip shall file an application with the chief of police or authority thereof a complete application including all required information shall be submitted to the chief of police at least five calendar days prior to the proposal, proposed arrival date. The application shall include the following information, the full names, addresses and phone numbers including mobile numbers of the owner, operator and driver of the bus, the full name of all persons that are proposed to be unloaded in the village of Alsip including copies of IDs for said persons to the extent of IDs exist or in possession of the passengers, the address of location in the village of Alsip where the applicant will unload its passengers, the exact date and time the applicant will unload its passengers in the village of Alsip, the full names, addresses, mobile and landline numbers for individuals who shall be present in the village of Alsip to meet the bus and receive the passengers, and a detailed plan identifying how the passengers will be temporarily cared for housed and fed after arrival in the village of Alsip. The plan shall include full names, addresses, mobile and landline numbers for all persons that will be present at the time and date of the unloading that will be responsible for the care, housing and feeding of those passengers. So I, I won't go into the rest, but for the most part we're doing what we can to uh, mediate any problems with um, unscheduled stops in our community and stuff then too. Uh, Chief Miller, you got a chance to review this. You're okay with it then, too, Chief? The uh, ordinance? Right. Yes. Okay. Just looking out for the health, safety, and welfare of people who otherwise would be left stranded. So. Okay. Thanks, Chief. That's all. Just wanted to, like, again, we got folks that watch our meetings every day afterward. I just want to give them a quick brief on what's what. Um, next, we have the Planning and Zoning and Licenses Trustee, uh, our committee, I'm sorry. I got that, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, I have a request for approval of a resolution in the Village of Alsip approving the Patriot resubdivision of real property located at 5555 West 115th Street, Alsip, Illinois. And then next, I have a request for approval of a list of licenses dated December 21st, 2023 through January 5th of 2024. And that's all I have this evening, Mayor. Thank you. Did anybody have any presentations, petitions, or communications they wanted to share? I have one I just wanted to share with everybody. I, I participated in a seven-hour uh, tabletop exercise today over at the Cook County um, facility over at what used to be Oak Forest Hospital. And I just want to certainly compliment the instructor, uh, Bob Dunn. Great job. And um, we had a lot of local uh, police and fire that were, uh, near the Alsip area that were there. And really it was just in response to handling <coughs> a um, natural weather um, Disaster and what to do, things to look for, and certainly I'm, I'm, our DEP director uh, Chuck Tracy was there with me, and we're going to do more in depth and we're going to wrap up the <laughs> updated um, emergency um, action plan. Action plan. Thank you. And um, so with with current uh, personnel and so forth that we need in a 24-7 in a notice that we can access and so forth. I learned a lot today. It was good stuff. Thank you, Mike Freider. Mike and I were there today, too. And Mike, I'll tell you, I must have made 200 notes there today and stuff then, too. But he did, Bob uh, Dunn did a nice job uh, instructing today and stuff, yeah, too. So, um, did anyone wish to remove anything from the consent agenda? Nobody? Can I get a motion then to establish that consent agenda? I'll make the motion. Second. Second. Roll call number one to establish consent agenda. Trustee Dalzell? Yes. Trustee Juarez-Mendoza is absent. Trustee McLawhorn? Yes. 
Trustee Murphy? Yes. Trustee Navas Barza? Yes. Trustee Peretta? Yes. Motion carries to establish consent agenda. Thank you. Can I get a motion then to approve the consent agenda as presented? I'll make that motion. Second. Second. Okay, item A, approval of an ordinance amending Chapter 4, Alcoholic Beverages and Liquor Control. Article 2, Administration and Enforcement, Division 2, License, Section 4-69, Limitation on the Total Number of Licenses of the Municipal Code of the Village of Alsup, will now be known as Ordinance 2024-01-1. Item H, Approval of the Resolution for Improvement under the Illinois Highway Code for Section 22-00101-00-0, RS, the Lindahl Resurfacing Contract, related to the balance of construction costs over the, excuse me, $766,761.59 Rebuild Illinois funding amount will now be known as Resolution 2024-01-R-1. Item L, approval of an ordinance amending Chapter 19, Traffic and Motor Vehicles, <coughs> Article 2, Operation of Vehicles Generally, by adding Section 19-34, Unscheduled Bus Stops, to the Municipal Code of the Village of Elsep will now be known as Ordinance 2024-01-2. And item M, approval of a resolution of the Village of Alsip approving the Patriot resubdivision of the real property located at 5555 West 115th Street, Alsip, Illinois, will now be known as Resolution 2024-01-R-2. Roll call number two to approve consent agenda. Trustee Dalzell? Yes. Trustee Juarez Mendoza is absent. Trustee McLaughlin? Yes. Trustee Murphy? Yes. Trustee Navas Barza? Yes. Trustee Pareda? Yes. Motion carries to approve consent agenda. All right, thank you. Did anyone have any unfinished business they wanted to talk? Any new business? Nobody wants to talk about the Bears almost getting there yesterday? I mean, come mm -hmm. on, you know. Mm -hmm. the, I, I almost, thought it was going to be the day. Count. All right, I'm going to give you your, your share of the floor. Um, then can I get a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. We'll adjourn this meeting at 7.52 p.m. And uh, thank you for joining us tonight. Enjoy the rest of your night.